Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know the news. There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah. It, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So, are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, Listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I've lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Now, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Angus crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. <clears throat> this thing come with airbags? Paris? Stay put. Later. Thanks for waiting.
That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go! Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Wouldn't upward. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. Maybe you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? The British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. an effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for them. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. Do it. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that looked like a problem. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> Those poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. I'm gonna hop out for a look. I'll just wait with Sam. <sighs> Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? <laughs> well, if we can't get the car up to the bridge... Maybe we can bring the bridge down to the car. You know, try taking out the support beams. to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> Slip and slide! <laughs> Sully, so, like, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. 
There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. Well, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of... Hey, is that a well? Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. <coughs> Buckle up, everybody! Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Um, ah, no. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Sorry, you were saying? Um, no, oh, right. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to ruin uh, Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Damn, you were saying? Oh, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway, I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of it.
So, Fire walks into him. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <laughs> I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. Keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. Oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't hear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. What do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? Little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. Hey, Nathan, come check this out. The hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. See a big crate or something way up at the top of the tower. Maybe that'll do the trick. Be careful, kid. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up. Be careful. Bingo. 
Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid! You all right? I'm fine! You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see you. I'll bring the car closer. You just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Wait. No way I imagined that.
find? Nothing. We're okay. Get that bridge down. Try that again. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? The nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? I'm gonna take a look around. So, just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh. Half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in play. Well, you should have told him it was 200 pounds. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Oh. 
All set. Here we go. All right, hang on, guys. This one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <clears throat> Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. There's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Excited. Oh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Hey guys, coming. Go 
Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrell. And that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys, whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Victor, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... If we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. What are you doing? He's confirming his suspicion. Shit. Look at this.
They figured out the towers, too. Location, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. Yeah, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. No, Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clouds, you call us, okay? See you soon. <laughs>